Now, I'd like to explain right now the whole story of Adam and Eve, just to make it available and understandable to people that might not have access to the Bible. All right. This is how it happened, okay? First, God made everything, okay? He just made everything, and he made this big garden that was earth, all right? And then he put, <clears throat> he put Adam and Eve in the garden, okay? He put Adam and Eve in the garden, and they were naked because they didn't understand this whole thing about clothing and everything, and they didn't really understand anything. He said they hadn't eaten from the tree. There's a tree that God put in the center of the garden. And this was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You see, it's the tree of knowing things, the tree of knowledge. Now, they didn't eat from the tree yet, because God told them not to. You see, he put the tree there, and he told them, listen, all right, he, he, he walked, you have to understand something, that God was omniscient and omnipresent and all this stuff. You know, he was everywhere and knew everything and could see everything. But when he created, you know, the, the garden, he just kind of condensed down into a being, you know. So he just, you can read the Bible if you want, or you could just take it from me. He, uh, he you know, condensed down to a person, all right. He, he couldn't see everything and he didn't know everything and he was just in one spot. So he was kind of like a human and then... That changed a little bit later, but I'll tell you about that. Now, he told them, he said, listen, all right, don't eat the fruit. This is very bad fruit, okay? This is fruit of knowledge. You'll get smart if you eat the fruit, and I want to keep you good and dumb so you can worship me properly, okay? That's what he told them. He said, you have to not eat this fruit. And if you do, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kill you and torture you. And I'm going to have to torture your children and your children's children and kill them. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to have to kill billions of human beings and, and torture them, you know. I'm going to have to do it, you know, by bringing death into the world. You see, there's no death right now, but if you eat the fruit, I'm going to have to bring all kinds of death into the world. All right, you, you, you feel fine now, but just wait. <laughs> just wait. If you eat the fruit, you're going to suffer. You're all going to suffer. Billions are going to suffer if you eat the fruit. So just don't eat the fruit, stay good and ignorant like I made you, and, and it'll be okay. All right. And then he walked away. You know, He had better things to do anyway. So he walked away, and then the devil, Satan, he, he entered the garden, you see. But he didn't just come as himself, because that would be a dead giveaway. He, he chose a disguise, you see. And he disguised himself as a talking snake with legs, you see. So, so this talking snake with legs that was really Satan in disguise, he walks up to Adam and Eve, specifically Eve, and says these horrible things, vile, disgusting things. He says things to her like, knowledge is good. He, he even says things so just vile, like, like being ignorant is not good. He even says things like, educating yourself is a good thing. Now, Eve was trying to stick to what God said. Eve tried to tell Satan, Listen, knowledge is not a good thing. God made me good and stupid so I could worship Him properly. And if I eat this fruit, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to know things. God doesn't want that. But Satan just, just would not relent. Satan just kept nailing her, you know, just kept drilling her at this with the whole... You have to be smart, you know what I mean? Just horrible things like that. And eventually she gave in. She ate the fruit. And then she called over Adam and, and had him eat some too. And they ate it. And you know what happened? Just then, God walks by, you know? Now, he's curious. I guess he's really used to being omniscient and knowing everything. So now that he doesn't know everything, he's, you know, kind of nosy. So he, he asks... Did you eat the fruit? What's going on? Why, why do you look like you have something on your mouth? You know, what, what's going on? And, of course, you know, she comes clean. They say, oh, yeah, you know, we ate the fruit. And that makes him real mad, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> he's used to not having any surprises, and now all of a sudden he's surprised. You know, because he expected that they wouldn't eat the fruit when he walked away, but they did, all right? And he couldn't see this whole... Satan disguised as a talking snake thing. He, he didn't see that coming. Just kind of blindsided him. So he got real mad and he said, you know what, I have to do this. I'm going to have to bring death. I'm going to have to kick you out of the garden. 
Sorry, there's nothing I could do about it. And that's not all he did either, no. He looked at Satan, you know, disguised as a talking snake with legs. He looked at Sa well, he didn't look at Satan. He actually didn't really care about Satan. But he looked at the disguise Satan was wearing, you see. He looked at that snake, that snake that Satan had possessed, and he was furious. Uh, he was furious. He said, you know, how could you let yourself be possessed by Satan? By no, uh, you know, by no uh, fault of your own. I mean, it wasn't your fault, but still, I'm mad, you know what I mean? And, and he said to this snake, you know, I'm going to have to take your legs away. I, I, I don't have a choice. I'm going to take your legs away. It, it says right there, it says that he... That from now on, you're going to have to crawl on your belly and eat dust for the rest of your life. All right? And he did. He punished. He punished all snakes. He did. He punished them. Like it says in the Bible. Took away their legs. And he makes them to this day. That, that is why to this day. Snakes don't have legs. And they eat dust. Now... It's ridiculous to say that evolution, <laughs> evolution made snakes not have legs. Come on. Evolution making snakes not have legs? Now why would evolution take away someone's legs? We all like our legs, so why would, why would evolution take away someone's legs if it's beneficial? Alright, and, and why would snakes evolve to eat dust? You'd think if they evolved that they would evolve to eat small mammals or something, you know? that they'd eat small animals that were big enough to, you know, wrap their mouths around. But they don't. They eat dust. Now, why would something evolve to eat dust? Doesn't make any sense why something would evolve to eat dust unless God made them eat dust. You see? You have to look to the Bible for truth. You can't look to these stupid evolutionists.